Good morning, friends, and happy Thursday. Many years ago, the television show, The Deadliest Catch, was very, very popular on TV. Uh, it followed uh, lobster fishermen uh, up in Alaska in the cold Bering Sea. And you would watch week after week as these boats tossed and turned and, and, and who had a good catch and, and who didn't. And, and sadly, sometimes it, it chronicled the death of people in that difficult and very dangerous job. It was always amazing to me, having no experience in lobster fishing, uh, that when they pulled the traps from the bottom of the sea, how much stuff was in there, right? Not just lobster, but other fish and, and animals and plants and trash that, of course, the guys on the deck had to sort through. They could only catch the lobster and keep the lobster, and they could only keep certain lobster. It had to be a certain size. There was a criteria. And I share that because in today's gospel, Jesus tells a parable uh, to a group of fishermen about a net being pulled in and what gets kept and what gets thrown away. Then in the end, he's the one who decides along with his father. And it's a reminder to us that as we live, weeds, wheat and weeds together, um, that we have to let God do the sorting out in the end. That so often we want this person to be canceled. We want this person to be gone. We want this person to be eliminated. And yet God, who as we hear in the first reading, is like the potter at the wheel, forming the clay, doing new things. God remains hopeful for change. God believes that each of us can change, that I can change, that you can change through his grace and through his mercy, so that when we're caught at the end, we will be found worthy. Have an awesome day today. Let's pray for rain. I know we don't normally do that, but man, we need it to nourish uh, the, the ground and, and our plants and, and, the, and the fields of the farmers. Uh, and may you know peace today. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.